Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now today's video is going to be focusing on something called Daily Farming Task, which is a brand new beta test that came into the game today. Now not everybody has this, so if you don't have it, don't mind. Uh, it's a test feature and some of us have got it, so let's find out what's involved and what we need to do and what's a possibility for this in the future for us as players within the community. Now, today when I opened up the game, I didn't know I was going to be getting this, but when I did get it, I thought, okay, what's this? Now, it seems to be a reward-based activity. What you need to do is do a specific amount of tasks within the game, which allow you to collect points, which allow you to open mystery chests to get rewards inside. Now, what's inside those chests, I don't know yet, because it's the first day. Now, there are four tasks coming up on the board. Now, you've got three cream colored tasks and you've got one purple task. The cream colored tasks are daily tasks and they refresh after 24 hours. You've got the purple task, which is a weekly one, so it refreshes after the end of the week. Now, each of those tasks has a specific time frame. So, you've got like one day to do the first task, you've got seven days to do the second task. So, depending on what's required will depend on how much time it's going to take you. The points that you get seem to be very low at the moment, so in total you can see down there there are 8 points. Now, once I've actually done the task, what happens? Well, there's a before and after picture there. Now, once I've done the cream colour task, they tick off, but they seem to stay on the board, whereas once I did the purple task, it disappears. And then it tells you some information. Now, the points that I'm getting in this case are going towards a kind of like a... Uh, a roadway at the bottom of the board which is an extension of the yarn like it's been played with and that works its way along to the actual chess in question. Now there are still a lot of questions that we don't know so as you watch the rest of this video seeing gameplay of me actually doing this I'm going to talk about what I have noticed. Now there are four tasks down there the points seem to be very very low indeed but it says that the path that you're looking at down there with the four actual mystery boxes uh, refreshes after every month. So this seems to be a monthly long activity. Now if it's a monthly long activity, uh, how long is it going to take me to work my way through the actual task tip? So eight points is the first day and I'm only getting like three points every day. So there's a strong possibility that to get all of those chests, that's going to be a lot of work for me to actually do to progress along that path to get each of those actual chests. Now, as you can see, there are three chests down there. There are three mystery boxes and then one big mystery box. What's going to be inside? Your guess is as good as mine. It could be diamonds, it could be expansion materials, it could be decoration, it could be something else. Now, we do find these chests located around the farm, so I'm assuming they're still going to be within the game and this is just another way of getting them. Now, when I actually look at this uh, new event, it reminds me of three aspects within the game. You've got the coloured task, which reminds me of the farm pass. Okay. You've got the actual collecting of points and opening up chests, which reminds me of the valley. And then you've got this event board with the task and a tick spot, which reminds me of the truck board. Uh, except that uh, nobody's delivering them. They are just collecting the points. So, as a simple base task, it seems to be relatively easy easy to do. Now there's going to be an icon down in the bottom as you've already seen. Uh, it's got better on it for those of us who have actually been given the better to try out. Now I don't know if it will be like the last better we did where people get it the first time and then everybody gets it the second time or whether I've got to give feedback after this and there will be a survey done. Uh, how many of you have it or don't have it? I don't know. Is it 50-50 like it was before? Um, now from speaking to my fellow content creators not everybody has it some of my friends don't have it of my farms I've got five farms and none of my other farms have it except for my main farm so why people have got it versus not got it I don't know um, I like doing the better testing it's a good way for me to see what's coming within the game I did not know this was coming I knew nothing about this at all so this was a bit of a surprise for me as well now, for those of us who've actually got it, please do give me feedback on it later, uh, and then we can 
discuss what we think about it. Uh, for those of you who haven't got it, I will be sharing my feedback as I play it, uh, giving you some information once I know more. I'm also going to be sharing this video with my fellow content creators, so they will probably make their own content based around it as well uh, in their own languages. So keep your eyes open for a similar style video, maybe with some different information or slightly different twist as we find out more. Now I've got to wait until the next cycle, which is today, to get more points. Okay, when the next one comes back up, there will be another three points, which will take me up to 12. Um, exactly how many points between each of the chests, I don't know. Uh, but I've literally got a whole month to do it. I won't get another purple task for another five days. Okay, uh, the reward path freshes for me in 28 days and 15 hours. So there's only three basic rewards down down there in one big one or are they all going to be basic but I'm not sure I don't know but once I do know I will give you more information right that's going to be it for the moment it's a quick video just to show you what's in the game and what's coming make sure you use my code in the game red knight r3dknight especially if you haven't bought the farm pass yet please do support me or one of the other content creators you can also subscribe to my channel today I'm very very happy indeed because I actually hit a very very nice milestone within my game so please do support me as well as I work towards my main goal of 75,000 but either way, I'll see you tomorrow in the live stream. Bye now.